as I'm here in the Pacific Northwest, I seem to think about the groups of Kwakutl men that would tag team, team up, tag team champions of the world. They would hop onto their man-made dugout canoes, and what they would do, they would team up together to find their massive prize, which would be a whale of just exponential proportions. We're talking tons and tons of whale. How in the world can a human like this attack something that is the size of a school bus? Well, how do you do it? You take all kinds of spears with you, seal skin, you would make uh, these floating devices that would track where exactly the fish, where the bait was, and then it would take you miles and hours, and you could finally tow it in. Woo! You just about got wet that time. Tow it in, and then the entire community, the Kwaku community, would share in the feast, and they wasted nothing. They used the bones for the infrastructure for some of their winter homes and permanent shelters. They also used the organs for different uh, medicinal uses. They used the meat, obviously. They would cook the blubber as a fuel uh, to burn and to uh, keep themselves warm and the coolness uh, that was perpetual throughout the year. It's kind of difficult because it's kind of the same season all year round. With over 175 centimeters of precipitation every year annually, you've got to understand that they had to keep themselves dry because bacteria and fungi and diseases love it when it's slightly warm and wet. So the Native Americans in the Pacific Northwest Coast were experts in using their resources, such as the whale, to meet their needs.